Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Perez from Surefire Web Services and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Beaver Builder with the Genesis framework. Now I've helped a few people out with a, a small minor issue and I'm just going to go over that issue right now that I see a lot of people facing and we're going to solve it together, okay? So I have here the Genesis sample theme and just a little disclaimer, all the themes are a little different but they're for the most part the same. So the classes that you're gonna see should be the same, um, but you're gonna definitely get a, a general idea of how to get the plugin to actually work with the Genesis framework. So right now I'm using the sample theme, and then maybe later on I'll, I'll pick another theme if I get the comments and you guys have some issues or whatnot, um, but just let me know. So in any case, sample theme, here we go. So if I click on the page builder, I'm going to, let's just pick this one. And you can see what the actual plugin does is it fills in the content section. Now in Genesis, the content section is just this little tiny area. So I wanna save that, publish the changes. And right off the bat, you'll probably think, okay, well this looks like it's 100% and this is 100%. Well, how do I get this section to be 100% and look the way I want? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into edit page and we are going to make this full width. Now that doesn't make it exactly 100% full width, but it will keep this edge to edge. Now I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna inspect element, and I'm just gonna point out a few things that you should know. So when you install the Beaver Builder plugin and you actually set up a page to use the page builder, you're gonna see this cool uh, class right here. It's called FL-Builder. Now, Beaver Builder actually puts that into the body class, which makes it a lot easier to target any page that you want that uses the page builder. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna go into our CSS and we're gonna say anything that uses FL-Builder, we want to tweak. This way it keeps the rest of your website intact and it only affects the pages that are using the page builder plugin, okay? So which classes are we gonna change? Well, I'm going to inspect the element here. You can see site container is full 100%. And just so you know, the way this works is you see this blue area over here and I highlight the div. That means that entire area is the, the width of the div. Now I'll keep going in. Header is 100%. And now we have site inner. Okay, so site inner has, if you look on the right, padding top 40 and then we have a max width of 1200. And now these are the things that we're gonna change in the actual style sheet. So if I hover over this, you can see the yellow area on the top, that's actually the padding. And the, I guess that would be kind of like a peach color, that is the margin. So we're gonna edit that, and we're gonna make some new classes to strictly affect the page builder pages. So I'm gonna copy this. Let's go into our editor. I'm just going to do a quick search for site inner. Okay, here we are. So this is where we want to be, right? I'm going to do the class FL builder. And then I'm going to do site dash inner. I want max width to be 100%. And the reason why I'm doing max width and not just width is because I want to override this specific style. So if I did this with 100% and I went back to the page, this max width would still be in effect because I'm still using the site inner class and all I'm doing is adding a width. Um, so just to, I guess, try to make it a little simpler, max width is not width, max width is max width. <laughs> So you have to kind of duplicate these and override it with the same class. So I want max width 100% and margin zero. So I'm gonna update that. Now we're gonna go back into our page builder, refresh it, and now it's looking a little better. So this still isn't touching the edge because it still has some padding on it and we're gonna fix that. So let's right click and we're gonna see which, uh, what that is. Article, it's article. 
And also you see site inner has um, this padding on top. So I want this to kind of touch the top and I don't want all of this padding. So FL Builder site inner again, we are going to change this padding top right here. So we're going to do padding top zero. Not sure why I did that. Update that. Refresh it again. Okay, so now we're touching the top edge. Now we need to touch the side edge, which is main content. And I, as I scroll over the, um, I'm using the Chrome browser. It's gonna show me each thing that I'm looking at. So once I click on the article, I'll see that this has all of this padding on the top and on the left, right? So if I go all the way to the right, You'll see entry has padding 5060. If I take that off, that's what we want it to look like. So this is entry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my Beaver Builder style sheet. Let's just clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to do a search for entry. And we just want the class, not the after or before or anything like that. entry okay so right after it because this is a cascading style sheet so anything below the class takes precedence we're going to do fl builder entry and we're going to just do padding zero and you can do margin zero if you want but i just want a little bit of padding there so now we're going to go back here let's refresh the page and now we have it edge to edge. Now, like I said before, um, every theme is a little different. Uh, some themes you don't have to do anything with the entry class because maybe it's already styled to be something. Some themes you may only have to do site inner or some themes you may have to edit the wrap. But for the sample theme, um, that's pretty much gonna do it. Now the last thing is you have this heading here and we wanna get rid of that on all of our Beaver Builder pages. So what we'll do is, or what I like to do, because it makes it nice and simple, is I go add a plugin by Bill Erickson called Genesis Title Toggle. Install it. Whoops. Install it. Activate it. And once that's done, all we have to do is go into the page that we did the page builder with, click on home page, and now we have this cool little thing, hide title. So I'm gonna update that, go back refresh, and now we have a full width home page, no title, and we have pretty much full control of this entire thing. And that's it, that's how you use Beaver Builder with the Genesis framework. Um, if you guys have a specific theme that you're trying to figure out, just let me know in the comments and, uh, we'll figure it out together. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.